Hello guys, this is part 2 of the Claiming Your Warbly Token series. In this one we are going to go over creating your Warbly account and claiming your share drop. So let's get into it. Once your KYC has been verified, you can now apply for your Warbly account. This is much the same as EOS. You need an account name, an active, and an owner public key. Now the account name rules are a little bit different. For an account name, it has to be between 6 and 12 characters long, must start with a letter, and you can use A to Z and the numbers 1 to 5. But again, it must start with a letter and be 6 to 12 characters long. So put in an account name 6 to 12 characters long, starting with a letter. And then for active and owner public key, they have a list of instructions here using the scattered desktop application in order to generate keys. If you have not already downloaded and set up the scattered desktop application, I will leave the link to my video going over that process in the description below. But let's just walk through how this works and then we'll also look how to generate keys using Graymass's EOS Voter Wallet. So here I am pulling up my scatter desktop wallet here. In order to generate new keys that we can use for our Warbly account, we come up to Vault click create new give this vault entry a name I'm just gonna name this warbly test once you give it a name click create new now scatter desktop has generated us an EOS ethereum and Tron keys in order to see your EOS key which you need to input into the warbly account creation page click show public keys and here we go right at the top this is my EOS shareable key created for my Warbly test vault account on the scattered desktop that I will use for my Warbly account so simply click to copy to your clipboard and just so we can see it's the right key it ends in CYDPO paste that in CYDPO CYDPO so once I've selected a 6 to 12 character account name starting with a letter and using any characters A to Z or the numbers 1 to 5 and I have a key public keys generated for both the active and owner public keys I can click apply for account now if I wanted to generate keys using the EOS voter wallet this is just a secondary way to generate keys here I am on the EOS voter wallet in the tools section I come down to key generator generate key and here we go here is the public key that I would paste into the previous warbly page and this is the private key I would keep offline never share with anyone always for your eyes only whoever has this private key controls this account so if I did want to use the EOS voter wallet I would simply copy this public key and paste it in to both of them or if I wanted a separate active and owner key I could go back to the EOS voter wallet and generate another key have one key for active one key for owner and the private keys for both so in that case I could copy this one and have a separate active and owner key but based on the instructions that Warbly provides I will just go over this one more time to make sure it's clear here I am inside my scatter desktop come up to vault click new give it a name once you give it a name click create new this will generate new keys once the keys are generated click show public keys and copy this EOS public key so click to copy and paste that in as your active public key and your owner public key now the private key to this public key is available up here in the export private key feature but that is how you generate keys for your Warbly account then once you click the apply for account button your Warbly account will be created and the Warbly dashboard account page will then look something like this if your account page does not look like this after you hit the apply for account button you might need to refresh or delete your cache 
using Chrome browser simply come up to the triple dots up here then go to more tools clear browsing data and once you're here cookies and other site data is the only one you will need to clear I believe so you can unclick cached images or browsing history if it is clicked and simply click clear data and that'll clear the data that is going to lock you log you out of Warbly you'll have to log back in but once you clear the cookies and other site data and log back into Warbly your account page should look something like this and on this page it shows you here your Warbly account name and here at this link it also gives you a link to the block explorer which will show you your account so I'm gonna pull up that uh, now this is not my account this is the beyond BTC BP account but your account once you click this link here it'll pull up blocks.io with your account that you just created on it so you should see your account name here and then in order to just check the keys that you just input come to permissions here and make sure these keys match those keys you just put in now for the keys if you do do the scatter method you will only have one key that you will put into both owner and active it is safer to do one separate key for owner and active but you can change your keys down the road here so it's not that big of a deal if you do the scatter method which is what the Warbly account page has steps for. So once you see your account on here and confirm that your keys are the ones you put in, it is now time you can claim your share drop. So there is a claim your share drop button here, or you can just click the share drop button here, and that'll bring you to this page. Now you need to have scatter desktop already pulled up and open. So here is my scatter desktop and you need the EOS account that you want to use to claim your Warbly tokens attached to the Scatter Desktop application. Again, if you have not set up Scatter Desktop yet, I will leave the link to my video going over setting up Scatter Desktop in the description below. But I have my Scatter Desktop pulled up here with the account I want to attach to claim my Warbly tokens. So I'll simply click Attach Scatter to EOS. And once I do that, my scattered desktop will pop up asking, do you want to log into warbly.io? Click log in to connect your account. Select the account you want to use. This is the snapshot account from September 7th. However many EOS you have on the account that you select from September 7th will be the amount of Warbly tokens that you receive, plus that 10% if you get in early. So I'm going to use this account here at the bottom. So now my scatter is attached and I'm going to hit claim share drop. Once I hit claim share drop, a, another scatter desktop pop-up will appear and this is signing the transaction. And all you want to do here with this is sign the transaction by clicking the check mark. As of right now, recording this on November 29th, the share drop for Warbly is not instant. They are expecting to process all the share drops before the weekend. So another day or so here, uh, but down the road it might be instant. Just keep in mind that the share drop might not be instant and you might have to wait for your Warbly tokens to appear. So once you do all those steps, you are done. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for your tokens to hit your Warbly account. So that is gonna sum up part two here, setting up your Warbly account and claiming your share drop. If you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful, Please drop a like, it goes a long way to supporting the channel. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell for more helpful EOS and EOS related sister chain content. So that's it for me for this one guys, I'll see you in the next one.